Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another video. It's Thursday. It's almost the weekend. The weeks are flying by. It's crazy. So I'm at one job today, but I'm here all day. It's a big garden. Been here many a times on the channel, but there's loads to do. There's always something to do because it's such a big property. So I'm going to be running you through and filming. I've got my tripod. I came here last week and I didn't film because I forgot my tripod. I've got it today. So we're going to be filming a video, which is really, really cool because I love sharing stuff with you guys. I hate not doing proper videos. It's really annoying. And it's sometimes can't be helped because we're so busy with work that we don't have time to film. But I'm sure you guys out there who do YouTube videos and gardening and you're busy as well with work, right? So it's not always, always e easy for you to say. It's not always easy to film. So I'm doing my best and I'm trying to get stuff up as and when I can. But today we are going to film and it's going to be a proper video. But before I get into today's action, I just wanted to talk about a little incident that happened yesterday. Not a major thing, but just a little thing. So I just finished at an old lady's house in my local sort of town and I was coming up the driveway and I stopped at the junction and I'm looking left and right like this just to make sure it's clear to go and obviously there was cars coming so I, I waited it, it wasn't safe for me to go and not only that there was a girl walking down the footpath and I couldn't see around her so I wanted to make sure it was clear I could see there was a white car coming in this direction so I thought I'll patiently wait let that car go past and then I'll pull out and continue with my journey however I was sat there and I'm looking left and right like this. I'm looking, looking. And this lady, she must have been late 50s in a white Volvo 4x4 thing. She drove past and she was going beep, 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 beep on the horn. And she was effing and blinding. She was so angry. She was cursing at me. And I was like, what have I done? She was like, rah, 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 rah. And I was like, what have I actually done? Like I'm sat here, I'm not, I haven't pulled out in front of anyone. I wanted to make sure it was safe before I, you know, commit. And I'm sat there looking, looking, looking. And she drives past and she's given me the middle finger and all this. And I, for whatever reason, the red mist descended over my head. I was like, I'm not having this. Now I was very animated and heated up at that moment. And I thought I'm not going to do anything silly, but I'm going to follow her. And I had two choices at that point. I was driving behind her and I was like, I'm either going to follow her to a house and say, what the hell was that all about? Or I'm just going to drive behind her, make her feel a bit uncomfortable, bleep on the horn, which I did. So I sat behind her, not really, really close, but I sat behind her. I followed her for a little bit, around a couple of turnings. And she probably thought, oh God, this guy's following me now. And she indicated right to turn off. And I thought, I'm not going to follow her anymore. I bleeped on the horn. I was like, beep. And I was going, what is that all about? And I could see, I think she was quite quite scared at that point and i thought good good i hope that freaked you out because you shouldn't be abusing people it's not fair now i know two wrongs don't make a right but i was doing nothing wrong i was being safe i was minding my own business i was trying to get on with my day and this woman i mean to be honest i was having a really good day to that point and she put me in a really bad mood and it was so uncalled for I wasn't on the road, I wasn't sticking my nose out, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I could just man up and get on with my day and let it go. But I just thought, no, I, this woman needs to know that what she did was unacceptable. And one day she's going to do it to the wrong person. Now, me bleeping on the horn was bad enough. But she might do it to the wrong person one day and they might follow her to her house. Then they're going to know where she lives. Then they're going to do God knows what. And I'm not condoning that, but I'm just saying there are so many weirdos out there and you don't know. You might antagonise or piss off the wrong person. Wait, I decided to leave it at that. I just sort of gave her a little bleep and, you know, and I carried on with my way. And I, the rest of the day actually wasn't too bad after that. But in that moment, it was just like, what is your problem, woman? Crazy, mate. People, eh? Well, the leaves are starting to turn now anyway. That looks really nice, actually. How cool does that look? But loads of leaves to clear up already.
with big properties like this, when you're doing stuff like I've just been doing, ride on mine, that's when you clock other things that need doing in the garden. Which brings me onto this apple tree. Now this bit here is really struggling. There's loads of dead. So what I think I'm gonna do is get my ladder, get the chainsaw, and yes, guys, I have trousers on today, woohoo. So I'm gonna get my chainsaw and I'm gonna chop out some of these dead limbs and get them on the bonfire because they're not gonna do anything. They're really not. We've got two chainsaws on the go today. So we're gonna be using the MS-180 for some smaller bits. Then we've got the slightly better MS-290. There is this little tree here as well. Now it's looking pretty spindly. However, there is some life on it. So just got to make a judgment call really. There's loads of dead bits on it. I, I think, that's it. to be honest, I think it's dead. And whatever these little shoots are, are little bits of life that are clinging onto it, but the tree's not doing anything. I reckon, I reckon this could come down to be honest. It's like the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> So that is me done here for the day. So I'm just gonna do a little walk around now and show you what I've done. So starting over here, we tidied up all the leaves. We've cut this grass, we've cut this grass, we've trimmed the little path bit there and around the lamppost. Over here, we've mowed all the grass as usual. We did a little bit of weeding in here, got that nice and tidy, cleared the apples, mowed all of this took out some dead limbs off this apple tree and we took another load of dead limbs off this apple tree you can see all the bits where i've been cutting I took down the tree here there was that spindly tree it looked like the leaning tower of pisa i've cut that out this garden always looks sick after you've had a good blitz so that's the front garden now i'll show you what i've done in the back garden as well just heading into the back had a good bonfire today burnt up all the uh, stuff We've had a good leaf blow through here, got all that nice and tidy. So we've given the back a nice tidy up. The rose has been clipped over there. So um, yeah, it's good. So yeah, we're done for the day now. So we're gonna wrap this video up. Just a quick message to say that I might be doing a live video tomorrow night. I might make that my like little Friday thing. So if you've got anything you wanna talk about gardening wise, or if you just wanna talk about football or life or what you're doing the weekend or anything like that, just pop on and you know say hi come and have a chat to us so that will probably be about 7 30 tomorrow if i do it but i think i probably will so um but yeah wrapping up this video here if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed please do it'd be awesome to have you guys tag along and if you've got any comments get me below and i will look forward to speaking to you guys soon so have a good evening peace out